Hi Gemini, happy birthday. Welcome to your first through the 15th tarot reading for June. Um, I'm also a Gemini, so this is about me too. I have a Gemini moon. My sun's in Pisces, but my moon's in Gemini. And I'm Serafina Safi, and this is, I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Twice a month, bi-monthly, I'm going to be putting out a tarot reading video. So please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I get you a new video. Um, so we're out here. We're in nature. It's beautiful. I do have a new website that's launched in the description box below. So what we're going to be doing, Gemini, for your birthday and for um, the 1st through the 15th is diving in. We're going to be doing a Celtic cross uh, reading and we're going to be finding out you know, some, some deep down answers like where are you presently? What, when the past is influencing what's going on presently and um, how do people view you? So stay tuned and we're going to find all of that out. Right now we're going to be picking a central theme for the reading and I have the Vintage Oracle right here. I've already thrown all of my cards. I've cleared them and then I threw them around, gathered them up. So all of my cards are pretty much scattered. I don't like shuffling traditionally because some of them are really, really big, so it's hard, and it uh, bends the card, so I don't do that. So I, I do my shuffling a little bit different. So what's one card for the central theme of Gemini, our reading, Gemini's reading today? What's one card for the central theme of Gemini's reading today? All right, so we have some reflection. Reflection. Taking time for yourself. Looking at the past. Reflecting on the past. That's the central theme of the reading today. Um, nostalgia. Okay. What's presently affecting Gemini? Okay. What's presently affecting Gemini? Ooh. It just flew out, didn't it? All right, so we have the Ten of Cups, and it's in the reverse. So the Ten of Cups in the reverse is emotional immaturity. It's a creative block. There's anxiety here, uh, massive amounts of anxiety. Why is this here? Why is this here? What's crossing the Ten of Cups? Why is this here for Gemini? So, I have the um, Two of Wands in the reverse. So, the Two of Wands in the reverse is a fear of the unknown. There's a lack of plan. It could, it could be over an Aries. It could definitely be, or, or it just has that Aries energy. It's just a very um, bold, impulsive... Um, um, enthusiastic energy. It, it's having one hand in the future and having the world at your feet, but having one stick in the past and in the reverse is being stuck in the past. There's just a fear of the unknown and that's causing massive amounts of anxiety. <laughs> you don't know where you're presently going. And um, back to the central theme, reflection. So there needs to be reflection here. What in the past is affecting Gemini's present? What in the past is affecting Gemini's present? All right, so the Four of Swords, and it's in the upright. So the Four of Swords in the upright, it's about rest, relaxation, um, there could have been a Libra or just that Libra energy of um, somebody who is very flirtatious, somebody who's um, very fair or something that happened during the season of Libra. Um, or it could have actually been over like a court case. 
something over a court case. It could have been something that happened between September 23rd through October the 22nd, or it could be over a court case that you just needed to take a break from, which really goes back to the central theme of reflection of the whole reading. So that marries nicely with the central theme. Um, so it looks like in the past there was a, t a period of rest and relaxation. Um, it could have had to do with a court case or some sort of painful lesson that you that you learned and um, you were just so worn torn that you, you had to take a break. And, and it may have actually been over a Libra or an Aries. Um, with the Ten of Cups, we also have Pisces. So we have Pisces, Libra, Aries here so far. What else in the past is affecting? And there's a lot of conflict presently because we have the Ten of Cups and then we have the Two of Wands. So Wands is fire energy and Cups are water energy. Water and fire don't mix. Fire boils water and water puts out fire. So those two elements are undignified. They don't mix, which causes a lot of conflict. So presently there's a lot of conflict in your life. What else in the past is affecting Gemini's present? Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So there was a player, and he was a really good, smooth talking player. He could have been an Aquarius, um, or any air sign, or any sign for that matter, but uh, specifically an Aquarius. So it could have just had that Aquarius energy, somebody who's very rebellious, somebody who was detached, somebody who was um, independent. Um, he may have been like a, a humanitarian, but um, he was very scattered. He had scattered thoughts. He, he had a disregard for consequences. He may have smoked. Um, he would act on ideas. He was highly action-oriented. Um, he was always looking for the next big opportunity. He was very sexually motivated. He was all about conquests. And it could have been a female too. Just because I say he does not mean it is necessarily a he. This is not gender specific. But it does have that energy attached to it. <coughs> so it could have been a woman too. What is Gemini's biggest fear, June 1st through the 15th? What is Gemini's biggest fear, June 1st through the 15th? Okay, so your biggest fear is the Ace of Wands. So your biggest fear is power, victory, um, inspiration, new beginnings, new passionate beginnings, new energetic beginnings, new beginnings in a career. This is fire energy. So this is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So this is maybe new, be new, this could actually be a new relationship. So a new relationship with a fire sign and Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, that's your biggest fear. Why is a new beginning Gemini's biggest fear. It's June 1st through the 15th. That's kind of strange. Okay, so we have the hanged man. And the hanged man is in the reverse. So the hanged man is Pisces energy. So there's a lot of conflict here already with the um, Ace of Wands. So we have Pisces and we have Aries and we have Pisces and Aries again. So we have Pisces and Aries in your present. We have Pisces and Aries in your biggest fear. So the hanged man, there's depression, there's punishment, there's uh, sacrifice here. So you feel like if you were to get with an air, like a fire sign or get into this new relationship, you would ultimately be very sad. You'd be held back. You would be under bondage. You would feel punished. You would feel 
um, like you have to sacrifice for this relationship and that's why you're afraid of it. What does Gemini truly wish for? You truly wish for the lovers. Um, this is the perfect love. It could be self-love. It could be um, romantic love. It could be love between them. It's just love in general. This is a major life event. It's a major arcana card. There's major arcana and there's minor arcana. Major arcana are major life events. There's 22 of them. And then minor arcana are minor day-to-day -day life events. And they're set up like a regular playing deck. Uh, ace through ten and then page, knight, queen, and king. So this is a major life event. Uh, this is the lovers and it's in the upright. So you truly wish for that happy that happy love. How does Gemini view themselves? June 1st. How does Gemini view themselves June 1st through the 15th of 2018? You view yourself as the queen of swords in the reverse. So this is your energy. So you're viewing yourself as yourself, but you're viewing yourself as someone who's overly emotional, who says what she wants and doesn't take slack from anybody, who um, can be a little bit bitchy. Uh, so you see yourself as somebody who's very bitchy, who just... It, cold hearted, cold hearted. How do other people view Gemini? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. How do other people view Gemini? Okay, someone who. So we have the tower here, which is trauma, destruction. It's a major life event. Um, an act of God. It, it's a major life event and there's just trauma, there's destruction, there's um, disaster. So people are viewing you in a bad light. They're viewing you as someone who's pretty much traumatized. What's coming towards Gemini first through the 15th? Oh, why? First, why is the tower here for how other people view Gemini? Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is, um, it could be a child or someone who's just developing a sense of self, somebody who's very emotional, somebody who is, um, he, he brings the message of creative new beginnings. He's water energy, he's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So they, they see you as somebody who's very overly emotional. What's coming towards Gemini June 1st through the 15th? What's coming towards Gemini June 1st through the 15th? All right, so I have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is coming towards you. So the Knight of Pentacles is very efficient, routine, methodical. This is Taurus energy, so it could be a Taurus. It's somebody who's very stable, who's steadfast, who's cautious, um, who's very protective, somebody who's very traditional, that um, leaves a legacy. Um, he is all about conquest because he is still a knight. He hasn't developed into a king yet. Um, he's a very slow moving energy and it could possibly be a Taurus. Why is the uh, Knight of Pentacles here and what's coming towards Gemini? Why is the Knight? Can you tell me a little bit more about Okay. So it's giving me two cards, both in the reversed. So we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So the six of pentacles 
is about um, there's debt here. There's debt, some sort of debt. And that's also Taurus energy. And then we have the Eight of Cups. So with the Eight of Cups, there's hopelessness. So there's debt and there's hopelessness. And that's bringing in the Knight of Pentacles, which is all about um, efficiency and routine. What's the outcome for Gemini? What's the outcome for Gemini June 1st through the 15th? What's the outcome for Gemini June 1st through the 15th? Again, we have more Earth energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And I also have the Hermit reversed and the Five of Wands in the upright. It just, they just came out. So the Five of Wands in the upright, let's start with that. That's all about, there's conflict. So in, in the outcome, there's conflict here. It could be with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. The Five of Wands specifically would be a Leo. Um, so yeah, there's, there's conflict here. The Hermit is Virgo energy, so somebody who's very critical, who's very worrisome, and it's in the reverse. So the Hermit in the reverse is about having insight, self-awareness. The reason that you get a tarot reading is so you can change the future. The future is fluid, nothing set in stone. But the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse is about financial failure, loneliness. So I wouldn't, I'd say that now is not a good time to do any type of investments. I wouldn't do any any type of financial investments right now. Um, I would wait until after the 15th because this is just until the 15th. Let me pull one more card. Before... Okay, and then we have the Four of Cups and it's in the reverse as well. So this is about boredom. There's a missed opportunity being aloof. And that's what causes the financial failure. That there was a, a missed opportunity that caused the financial uh, failure. So actually take opportunities. Don't be aloof. Um, don't be disinterested. Really analyze things. And if it looks like a good plan, go for it. Um, but don't overinvest. And don't miss any opportunities because the reason there's financial failure is because you have an opportunity, but you miss it. You you have you have insight because you have the hermit reversed. There's conflict, so you're focused on this conflict in the outcome, and it leads it leads to a missed opportunity, which causes financial failure. But you have the insight already, so follow your gut, follow your intuition. Um, the Page of Pentacles, it, it's Taurus energy, but Taurus is very good with money. Um, so he does bring in money. And with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, um, the, there could be some debt or some selfishness here uh, that you need to take care of. So there's some debt that you need to you need to address here, and um, the eight of cups, the eight of cups in the reverse is um, so you're walking away from your debts. I see you walking away from your debts. 
So you're avoiding your deaths. And you have insight. You're missing an opportunity, and that, that's what causes financial failure. So you're walking away from your debts. You're, you're turning your back. You're not, you're not focusing on your debts. So you need to focus on your debts. And that's causing a lot of anxiety currently because you don't know. There's a loss of direction. You don't know where you're going. In the past, you, you rested. You, you took time out. And that's when you racked up these debts. That's when you racked up these debts. And you need to reflect and you need to address them head on to avoid trauma, to avoid the tower. You need to financially, you need to um, focus on your money instead of love right now. From the first severe of the 15th, you need to focus on your money, you need to focus on your debts, and don't focus on love. You're focused on love, because what you truly wish for is the lover. So you're, you're focused on love, you're focused on a new relationship, but you don't need to be focused on that, because that that's you're, you're focusing on the wrong thing. You need to focus on getting yourself out of financial, financial failure. And spend some time in nature. Well, Gemini, I hope that you enjoyed your reading from the 1st through the 15th of June, uh, 2018. Again, happy birthday. And, um, yeah, I am part of this, so I have a Gemini moon, so this applies to me as well. Um, it did actually resonate with me quite, quite more than, um, what I would like, like it to, but, um, yeah, uh, again, I have a new website that just launched. It's in the description box below. If you like this and you want to see more, I will be having bi-monthly tarot readings um, every first, er, the first of every month and then on the 15th of every month. And then um, I, I'm planning some other things that I might add from week to week, but I don't want to commit to anything. But right now, that's what I'm going to commit to. So if you like that, please hit the subscribe, um, like this video, comment, let me know what you would like to see this channel become. Um, if this did resonate with you, I'd love to hear the feedback. Please leave a comment before if you want to share this with your friends. Um, I have a whole playlist, so it has every Zodiac, if you just want to share the whole playlist, like, um, so all your friends can just pick out their Zodiac sign and watch it, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day, and uh, thank you for light and love, and thank you for um, supporting my channel.